Hello and welcome to this Filbert Flies review of the St. Martin and Grand Cass scenery for Microsoft Flight Simulator by Airworthy Designs. Because we've got two airports to look at today and because I want to keep the review as short and sweet as possible, I've dispensed with the final approach which I usually start my review videos with and instead we're starting with this drone footage showing the Mahu Beach area on the approach path to runway 10 at Princess Juliana Airport. It gives you a really good look at the immense amount of detail there where the designs have put into this famous beach. We've got animated people, we've got beach bars, we've got beautiful turquoise water. They really have done an incredible job of bringing life to one of the world's most spectacular approaches. You'll notice that I've got my Cessna caravan parked up on the ramp with its engine running and that's because we're going to take a short flight from here to Grand Cass later on. But for now, let's take a closer look at Princess Juliana Airport. Starting off here on the west apron, you'll notice a number of static aircraft have been included in this scenery. We've got these Cessna caravans parked up here, and there's also quite a number of business jets parked around the airport in various places. Now I quite like this, I have to say, I think it brings a certain amount of life to the place. And you'll be pleased to hear, well, if you're like me, that there aren't any static airliners, so we have plenty of parking options around the terminal area. Um, which is useful considering there are only three gates with jetways. You can take your pick of these or the remote stands and you won't find aircraft blocking your path. Talking of the terminal area, let's take a quick look at the uh, modelling and texturing of the main terminal building. So I think they've done a really nice job here. The textures are nice and crisp. The building modelling is uh, very true to life, having compared it with uh, Google satellite imagery. and You'll be pleased to hear there is a fully modelled terminal interior and they've done a fantastic job here. Probably the best I've seen to date. It's really, really nice. And you can also look out from the windows without having the window frame structures disappearing as we've seen in other sceneries. We've got fully operational jetways. They have appropriate advertising on them. And we've got a nice amount of airport clutter scattered around, luggage dollies, tractors, that sort of thing. We continue east. You'll see we've got a hangar over here and a number of uh, aircraft parked outside of it. And again, texturing and modelling is done to a high standard. Perhaps not quite as crisp as the main terminal if you get in really, really close, but it's plenty good enough for me. Let's take a quick look at the ground texturing. Now over here we've got some good uh, high resolution ground textures, we've got rubber marks and that sort of thing, and it looks very believable. I have to say I'm not a fan of the uh, ground markings, the taxiway centre lines, to me look just slightly too bright and cartoony. The same is true of these red markings which really do stand out, and if you have a look at the satellite imagery, uh, they're certainly a lot more faded in real life. It's a very, very small point. I really, really like this airport, but I have to mention it. And I also have to mention the colour differences between these uh, concrete slabs and the asphalt here. That is far too pronounced again if you look at the uh, satellite imagery. And perhaps we could have done with slightly higher resolution textures around, uh, around here as well. Nonetheless, it's very, very nice. It's also worth taking a quick look at the control tower while we're here. So again, we've got use of transparent glass and, again, a fully modelled interior, even down to lit up computer screens with radar displays and uh, weather maps on them. Really, really very nice indeed. They've spent a fair amount of time on the landside areas as well. Now, I know when the landside area is bad, I always say, well, when, you, when are you going to see it? It doesn't really matter. <laughs> but when I see a well-modelled landside area, I do really appreciate it. So not only has the terminal got high-resolution texturing, but we've also got a fully modelled road, vehicles parked up, cones, that sort of thing. So it's a very, very convincing environment all around. Airworthy Designs have done a great job with the night lighting. The apron area is beautifully lit from above, the terminal is lit from inside, and if we go in, yep, you'll notice that the night lighting's really very good indeed in the interior as well. Now you will have noticed a little bit of flickering on the uh, upright parts of the window frames or window structures as we move around. 
this is something that I've seen on almost every scenery I've reviewed which has which has modeling like this I don't think it can be helped I think it's a, a little bug in the sim rather than anything that the developer could have uh, improved upon we've got taxiway edge lighting which from what I've seen of uh, photos is true to life and the runway is nicely lit with uh, edge lighting as well the scenery looks beautiful in wet weather the reflections look fantastic and the textures look really nice with these uh, puddles on them as well. You will of course notice the uh, transparent windows standing out, that's uh, an issue with the sim, it's nothing that the developer could have done anything about. Perhaps some slightly strange uh, lack of occlusion on the palm trees over here, they seem to suffer from the same issue as the uh, transparent windows. Not something I've come across before, very small issue. Let's go flying, we'll get on board our uh, caravan and we will make our way to Grand Casse. Welcome to Grand Cass. Not the most uh, beautiful of landings, but certainly uh, a lovely approach to make up for it, I hope.
So as you can see, it's a much smaller airport than Princess Juliana. But it's been beautifully recreated nonetheless by um, Airworthy Designs. We'll park up and have a uh, proper look around. Let's start by having a look at the rather bijou terminal building over here. Again, a very high standard of modelling and texturing. And another terminal interior, which seems to have something of a party going on in there. <laughs> yes, we seem to have the uh, dancing, waving people from uh, the beach, <laughs> from uh, Maho Beach. But still, very exciting. Very exciting to be at this airport and waiting for your plane, I'm sure. Perhaps slightly, slightly less detail than we had at Princess Juliana in the terminal interior, but more than enough for me. Again, windows that actually have glass in them from both sides, um, and that's very nice to see as well. Got the fire station over here with some uh, fire engines parked outside and inside. We've got another control tower. No modelled interior here, but uh, who cares? <laughs> and they've put a lot of effort into the landside area as well with uh, the car parks and uh, the very detailed front of the terminal itself. The night lighting is superb once again and you've also got the sound of those insects in the background which really adds to the immersion. Very nice to see. And that's true of the airside area as well. Look at that, look at that interior at night time. Really impressive stuff. This is a developer I've not come across before. I think they mostly developed for X-Plane in the past. Um, and I've come from a Microsoft Flight Simulator background. So um, this is my first experience of their work and I'm really very, very impressed. And Concast looks spectacular in the rain as well. It really does. There's, um, there's really nothing at all to dislike here. So what to say in conclusion other than this is a fantastic add-on, it really is. Two spectacular airports, beautifully modelled, beautifully textured, with the exception of some of the ground markings and some of the ground textures, but we'll forget about that, it doesn't spoil my enjoyment of it at all. Um, if you have any interest at all in flying in the Caribbean, and why wouldn't you, then you should buy it. I hope you found this review useful. If you have, please do click the thumbs up button down below and hit the subscribe button while you're down there to see more of this sort of thing. Thanks very much for joining me here on Filbert Flies, and I hope to see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.